Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see what messages the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. I always remind you that these readings are, of course, generalized, and to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. Always allow yourself to have your intuition tuned in as I'm doing these readings because your intuition will start elaborating on the messages that you're receiving so that this becomes more like a powerful personal reading. And your intuition is always great because your intuition protects you, okay? So as I'm getting your cards, just take that moment in time to invite your intuition to be here. Hmm, okay. So first of all, there is an energy of asking a lot of questions, okay? I feel that for some of you, there is just, there's a searching that is here because you are receiving your card, why, okay? There is why this, why that? Why are things going on like they are in the world? What is my position in the world? Where am I going? What does the future hold? There is a lot of questions. And I feel that for some of you, the questions are almost creating more confusion. Okay. And I feel that the answer that you're seeking is going to be coming from a book. Maybe someone has a book and they're giving you the answers from a book. Maybe you're outside in a shop, a magazine, and it has the answer that you are seeking. There is just something that is being put in a book by your guides, your guardian angels. Can you see? A book is going to contain the answer. And not only that. I thought it's interesting that the next card is saying buy the book. Let me just tune into this message. Okay. This is a very um a very specific a very specific message and this is why I always say have your intuition tuned in as I'm doing these readings for you because my intuition is tuned in. And as I'm looking at this card, what I had straight away when I picked the book, so the book, there's something about a book. There's something specific about a book. And some of you watching know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm feeling that for some of you, maybe you are meaning to read a book and you've been meaning to pick up this book for a while. This is the time to pick up that book because that book has the answers that you're seeking. For some of you, there's a feeling that when you're next to a book, you're just going to have an epiphany. Something is going to make sense. Whenever you're walking past some books, make sure that you are having your intuition tuned in. Because I feel that there's almost like an epiphany. There's almost like a boom, an aha moment. It almost feels like the answer that you're seeking is just going to fall out from as if from nowhere. Maybe it's a title of a book that is going to bring the answer, but there's a seeking that is here. There is some questions that you've been asking. The divine has understood your questions. Your guides, your guardian angels have understood the questions and they're putting the answers out there. But you need to be in the energy of being able to grasp the answers that they're giving you. Because I feel that for some of you, They've already been trying to communicate with you for, for a while. They have been asking you to read a book for a while. But you are not grasping what they're trying to say to you. And in that, you are missing what they are trying to communicate. You are missing the answers, the very same answers that you are praying for. So listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to be talking to you. There is something about a book that your guides want you to know. The next card we've got is talking about some building blocks. So I feel that for some of you, maybe you are building something, a business, a new you. Maybe you are rebuilding your foundations. There's something about building something. 
and you've got the building blocks that are here. And I feel that your guides are wanting to give you almost like a cheat code, okay? And the cheat code to whatever it is that you're constructing, to whatever it is that you're building is going to be in a book. There is some answers. There is important questions that are, there is important questions that are going to be coming up as you are receiving an answer, a new question comes in. And the next answer to that question is leading to another, it almost feels like a, um, like a jigsaw puzzle that you are putting together. It almost feels like there's a picture that your guides are constructing for you to receive the whole complete picture. So as you receive one answer, the next layer to that answer comes from another place. And this is giving you the building blocks that you need. I know that this message is very specific to someone who is seeking this message. And this message is very specific because your guides have been working really hard to get your attention. But for some of you, you are not able to understand what your guides are trying to tell you. You think it's cute when you get 111. You think it's cute when you get synchronicities. But what I'm really hearing is that your guides have really worked really hard just for you to see that 111. Just for you to see that synchronicity. And you just brush it off as something that is cute. But no, it's not. They're actually trying to communicate with you. They're actually trying to give you the answers that you are asking for. I'm just seeing if anything else is coming up. Okay. So there's a message that is here that is saying that you are stronger than you think. Okay. So you're receiving a message that the divine wants you to understand that is your building is you are going back maybe all the way back to your foundation so that you can build back stronger. You could be feeling tired. You could be feeling exhausted. You could be feeling frustrated because you're just like, oh, why do I have to go and rebuild my life again? Why do I have to go and do X, Y, Z again? And the divine is saying that it is because you're stronger than you think. And it is because the foundations that you're putting down right now are going to give you something that is solid. So stop, st stop standing in the way. And not only that, stop standing in your own way. Those were the words that were coming in. So you're going to be focused on, you're going to be focusing on creating your abundance. And I spoke to you about your guides sending you synchronicities. I spoke to you about your guides sending you messages and your guides have all along been seeing the whole complete picture. But because you're not seeing the whole complete picture, you're almost in the energy of getting in the way. You're in the energy of not understanding what this whole big picture is all about. And this is why your guides and your ancestors are putting things for you in a book to make it easier for you to follow the clues, to open your eyes up to how they're trying to help you create a solid, beautiful foundation that is going to lead to something that is, that is amazing. Okay. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you really have been working a little bit too hard because you were not listening, because you were not able to understand the messages that were being sent to you. Because you were just thinking that 111555 was just cute. And all along, it was for you to follow the signs. It was for you to lead you to where you're wanting to go in a quicker way, in an easier way. So because you've been working overtime, because you've been overdoing it, the divine is saying that now it is time to take a break. Time to take some me time, time to heal, time to just enjoy this moment in time. Take some time out for you, maybe over the weekend, maybe creating a holiday, whatever it is that you're doing, because you are going to be on a journey. You're going to be on a journey that is going to require you to focus, 
that is going to require you to have your energy together, that is going to require you to really be in the moment. So this is why your guides and the ancestors are saying, take some time now to have a little bit of fun. Take some time now to do some healing. Take some time out now. Because when it's time to get to, to work, sorry, when it is time to open your eyes and really see what is out there for you, you're going to be so excited and you're going to need all your strength, all your energy for the journey that you are going to be going on. But remember, your guides and your ancestors are part of the team and they are leading you through wisdom, through knowledge. And this is why the book is going to be really important. Okay, so there's a book full of wisdom. There's a book full of knowledge. There's a book that you need to go and read. Or you could be finding a book title that is answering your questions. So remember to rest because the journey is about to begin. Okay, so I wish you all the luck as you are creating abundance for yourself as you're going on this journey. But remember, you do not have to do anything by yourself. You're divinely blessed, you're divinely led, and you are divinely loved. And this is the reading that I have for you. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye from me. Bye.